Hey everybody, so we are back with another DAT prep video, this time in a lot better quality, so yay for that. Today I'm going to be talking about how I studied for the biology section. Granted, I'm going to be fully transparent, I got a 19 on this section. It's a very tough section, but I'm pretty proud of that score and I still got a good total science. But I figured that this would still be a helpful video, so I wanted to show you guys how I started studying. And I think that if I would have been studying like I studied at the end the whole time, my score would have been a lot better. So I'm going to give you guys some advice about what I did right, what I did wrong, and show you what my notes looked like. So the first tip that I have is DAT Bootcamp Biology Notes. When I was taking it, they had the longer version, and now on their website it's like half the length. I'm sure both are fine. They wouldn't have condensed it if it wasn't like appropriate. So I think that that is the first place you should start, and you should take notes based on that. But only take notes on the stuff that you don't know well. Don't waste your time going over something that you remember really well from your biology lectures like in school because this is a very time sensitive process you want to maximize your study time on things that you're weak on and not waste time on things that you're good on i know it's hard to force yourself to study the things you're weak at but once you start doing that that's when you're going to see your scores progressing and i would also recommend to start doing practice tests for bio early because at the end of the day you're never really going to know all the answers so you might as well start early on in your reviewing process so you can start to know the types of questions they ask and again pinpoint your weak areas so you can start working on them early on for me that was cell bio and then anatomy and physiology particularly because I hadn't taken anatomy and physiology when I took the DAT so for me I had a binder here they're just in a folder now because I'm done with it, so I relocated them to a folder. But I'm going to show you guys really quickly what all my bio notes looked like and do a little voiceover for that. So this is what my notes pretty much looked like. I didn't start making them until my last couple weeks of studying. By the way, feel free to pause the video at any point if you want to read what I was writing. I definitely think that it would be beneficial to make these kind of study sheets the way that your brain works for every single topic, but I only had them for a few topics because I ran out of time. I think that my score would have greatly improved if I was able to cover every single topic in depth like this. I'll be sure to have the YouTube videos for these flow charts linked down below. They were a really great way to learn taxonomy and made it really simple. I'm taking a second here to give you a closer up view of some of the detailed diagrams that I use, especially for anatomy and physiology. These will be your best friends, particularly because I hadn't taken those classes before, so drawing things out was essential. And another thing that was really important to me was having a clear study space during my DAT prep. Okay, so you've, you've read or are reading the bootcamp bio notes and you are making great notes that work for the way your brain works. Great, so now you're doing practice questions and bootcamp has the feature to like flag questions that you get wrong, flag anything whether you get it wrong or you don't know what one of the answer choices is even if you get it right. Then go over those the next day and again reflag them if you're still not like 110% on it. And then also utilize their new um, extra questions based on topics at the bottom. Basically for biology your best friend is just multitude of practice questions and that's why um, Destroyer might be worth buying for biology. I know you'd have to buy the whole Destroyer book but I think for biology it's useful because he throws a lot of like random questions in there that might appear on the real thing and that's how you get that 20 plus score and I didn't use it that much I went through about half of his book and again I got a 19 so take what you will from that 
Um, yeah, I think at the beginning of my studying, I was just trying to like spend an equal amount of time on everything, but what I would have done differently, like I said, is to focus on your weaknesses, tackle those hard, and um, for me, I'm a visual learner, so earlier on, I should have started um, writing things out, like I've been doing like well, because that, writing it out once, like well, like I showed you, I'm gonna know it after that. Like I can picture it in my head, I can picture the paper I drew, and I can get the answer right. So know how you study from based on your lectures because that's how I studied for my biology class and like other courses and that worked for me so that's why I did it for this and it worked. So just make sure you're putting an ample amount of time into bio and studying as hard as you can, focusing on your weaknesses, getting out of your comfort zone and your scores are going to improve with practice and repetition. So I wish you guys good luck. And please let me know if you have any more DAT related questions or what section you want me to talk about next.